Hey, what's going on guys? So viewers asked me what's all in my camera bag when I go traveling in the Philippines and I thought I'd make a video to show you guys what's all in there. So I'm going to be putting links down below and it will take you to Amazon and if you click the links and you are thinking about buying one of these items it actually uh, supports our channel. We just joined the affiliate program in Amazon and so all you got to do is click the link and I guess it's good for like 30 days so even if you buy the, the item 30 days later we still get a uh, payment for showing you guys the link. So I think we're going to start on this side. So this is the Pro Master Professional Lightweight Tripod. It's uh, compact, weighs about, uh, I'd say two and a half pounds. Uh, it's good for, I think, a six to eight pound camera. And it does a really nice job. It's pretty tall. It goes, I think, about six foot four or six foot five when it's all uh, extended out and it can fit in my backpack and it's pretty much what I use every time that I do time lapses really great product um, really nice material you definitely get what you pay for with this one this here is the underwater GoPro stick we bought this after we broke the, the other GoPro stick the other one was a bit longer this one's a bit better for underwater because it's clear next here is my Glidecam HD 2000 this glide cam is for cameras up to I think two to six pounds and this is a really nice gimbal if you want to get into professional shooting I didn't get to use it too much in the Philippines and I don't know if I'm going to bring it back but if I do end up getting some professional work I might be bringing it back normally this pouch here has the big uh, 15,000 milliamp uh, battery pack but I left it with Michi so she has that when brownouts happen this is the Bose uh, Colorlink portable speaker. It's a really nice uh, small little speaker. Fits in my uh, backpack really easily in the pouch and can listen to tunes while we're driving along. So really handy little portable speaker. This is my Lavalier Rode uh, microphone mic and uh, use this for uh, important interviews and stuff like that. I didn't really get to use that too much but but I know some people really like to use those when they're filming. These are the headphones that I always bring with me. Uh, when I'm doing important interviews, I like to throw these on my camera so I can hear the audio. And next we'll get into all the memory stuff. So I got two Seagate, uh, two terabyte hard drives, external hard drives. So all you gotta do is just plug it into your USB and uh, it powers on. These are very handy little portable external hard drives. I got two professional 64 gigabyte uh, SD cards. And this is for my GH4 camera. I got a 32 gigabyte SD card for my Sony. This is the Lexar 633X and it's 32 gigabytes and this is what I use for the GoPro and it's good for filming 4K and high frame rates. And here's my 64 micro SD card and this is what I use on my phone but sometimes I swap it out and I'll throw it on my uh, GoPro if needed. Something to bear in mind, I pretty much go through a new uh, two gigabyte Seagate hard drive each trip now, so it pretty much gets completely filled up. So if I was moving there, I actually might want to bring uh, two or three. All right, next is the computer I use for all my editing. This is the Surface 3 Pro from Windows. This is their Windows tablet computer. This thing weighs, I think, about... 1.8 pounds or so without the keyboard and with the keyboard I think it weighs about 2 or 2.2 pounds so really like computer so far it seems like a really reliable small computer really easy to travel with and stuff and uh, it can't really handle big edits but regular size edits about uh, maybe under under 20 minutes long it can just handle fine it might take a little bit longer than a regular computer but the weight makes it really, really nice because it's just so, so tiny, but can handle a lot of workload. This is my Byru gear case for my Surface Pro 3. <clears throat> this here is actually a head mount for the GoPro. You just attach there and throw it on your head. Don't really use it much though, but sometimes it comes in really, really handy. Another little important little accessory I have for my computer is my wireless mouse. 
and this is a Microsoft mouse that works on pretty much any surface like you could pretty much put it on your skin and it'll work so it's really really handy you can put it on a glass table and it'll work fine really really good quality mouse and here I got a bunch of GoPro accessories like a skeleton case and extra attachments and stuff like that if they break so I guess we'll talk about backpacks now my main backpack when I go traveling and fill it up with uh, the most stuff is this one right here this is my 44 liter Osprey Talon bag and this is a really really nice backpacking bag like it, get a load of this back here very aerated lets the air go through real easy you don't start sweating up too bad these straps are the same really nice and uh, gets the airflow tons of pockets and places to store stuff the fabric is really really high quality like it's really hard to put any kind of tears or rips into these things like I put a lot of wear and tear in these bags and they're still holding up really really good so I actually found out about these backpacks from a uh, YouTuber Mark Waynes who does a uh, food channel on YouTube and he actually uses these backpacks too throughout Southeast Asia and actually loves these too so that's where I got the idea and I checked them out and it, they got like a really nice uh, good frame inside too really worth the money oh yeah and I also really like these uh, the bottoms here it has a zipper so you just zip it out and you can get into the bottom of your bag really really easy great great bag the next bag is my 22 liter uh, Osprey Talon it's another Osprey Talon this is a really nice uh, day bag this is usually what I throw my camera gear in and uh, I can fit pretty much all this camera gear here and again both these bags have really nice straps really nice waist straps too so when you have lots of weight in them and you put it on properly it feels like everything's supported on the lower part of your body and it doesn't really hurt your back at all even when you got like 40 pounds in that backpack really nice bags and now we're getting into the camera stuff so on the very first trip I went on everything was filmed with this and this this is my Samsung Galaxy S4 it's I think three years old now or maybe three and a half years old and I got this Cochlin's uh, waterproof case for my phone and it's a little dirty now but uh, it actually worked really good this is what I used when I was going through the cannoneering trip and I was going underwater and stuff and it seemed to work fine for the camera it wasn't the greatest quality but it worked so on the second trip I had uh, three cameras I was using but mostly just these two I didn't use this uh, Samsung at all really so this is the Sony RX100 this is the like top of the line point shoot camera something that you can just fit right in your pocket the reason why is because the sensor on this is much bigger than your average point shoot camera normally the sensors are really small this is a one inch sensor and uh, pretty much these are the best vlogging cameras you can get for the money so right now Sony has the RX100 lineup and they have one two three and four number four is really really nice but it's pricey and I think pretty much every other camera producer has a one inch sensor uh, pocket camera now but the best seem to be Sony and Canon with the G7X so this does uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second if you want or 24 frames per second uh, also does uh, I think 20.2 megapixels on it and it has a 1.8 aperture lens on it and that means it can open up really wide so lots of light can get in so it's way better for low light compared to so compared to other smaller sensor pocket cameras this is way way better for low light and you also have all manual controls so it's pretty much like a DSLR like a big professional camera you can put it on manual mode and you can actually take uh, pictures of stars and stuff like that you can do long exposure you can do time lapses really really handy great value for the money so if you're going to get into YouTube I highly recommend getting a one inch sensor camera either Sony or Canon 
because these are the best and it just provides such great quality. And the other camera we had on the second trip was the Hero 4 Black and this is when it first came out and I was really excited with this guy because this can shoot 1080p at 120 frames per second so you can get some really really nice slow-mo action with this bad boy. Picture quality is great really super crystal clear I really love this thing. Tons of options really easy to edit with. GoPros are really great do-it-all kind of cameras and one of the major bonuses about this camera is it is a freaking tank. This camera here was in an accident where the guy fell off his longboard and smashed it into the ground and it was in a protective housing but it pretty much disintegrated when it hit the cement and it this thing flew up in the air about 20 feet and came flying down smashed the ground bounced a bunch more times but it's completely fine still works fine not a scratch in the lens this thing is a champ here's the protective housing for it so this here is the camera case for the camera I'm filming with right now the GH4 and this is a really nice bag that I got and I really like this feature here it has really nice material but the thing is it's elastic so it sits in here the lens goes down there and it has some bounce so if you ever do drop it it's not going to actually hit its lens it's just going to bounce inside the bag kind of by itself and it seems like a really really good uh, safety mechanism so I really like that this is a case logic bag so this here is an ND filter it's pretty much like sunglasses for your camera and you need one of these if you want to film in uh, really bright situations and for certain shots so if you do a lot of daylight shooting and you have a DSLR camera this is a handy investment and I always carry a couple lens cleaning cloths just in case because you usually always get a dirty lens throughout the day like three or four times so you always need one of those this is my lens protector I usually leave this off when I'm filming and just leave it in the bag once I'm done filming finally for the day I throw this on. So this is my inflatable keychain and I throw my uh, house keys and uh, scooter keys on this and if I ever drop my keys into a lake or a river or somewhere with deep water it would actually open up and inflate and rise to the top and you can save your keys. So handy little device never need to use it but just in case. So this is my Panasonic GH4 camera this is my professional camera I use for all my really really nice good shots. If you see something that looks professional or something out of the movie, it's most likely shot on this one. Though I have gotten some really nice shots on my uh, Sony RX100 Mark II. So yeah, this is a really nice camera. It can do some beautiful slow motion. I just found out. Like I've had this camera for a year and I really haven't really messed around with the slow motion a lot. But I've learned from Christian's travel vlogs that these things can produce amazing slow-mo. So I'm getting a lot more into slow-mo now and uh, it can produce some beautiful shots. It's got tons of settings for it. This is like the best documentary filmmakers camera around for someone who is on a budget kind of. So it has tons of features. This is what I use for all my time lapses. I just have a time lapse feature here. I just throw it on there and uh, super easy. Yeah. By all means this is not a cheap camera but it is cheap for if you're getting into professional filmmaking this was the very first DSLR camera or mirrorless camera that came with 4k internal meaning it can shoot 4k right out of the camera so the lens on this camera I only have one lens and this is the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter 2.8 aperture and it's 2.8 from all the way zoomed out and all the way zoomed in so it's uh, one of the more expensive models, but uh, really, really nice for just all-around shooting. It's really great for documentary kind of filming. Um, yeah, this is just a really great all-around camera. Another thing I really like about this camera is it's weatherproof. So it's dustproof, rainproof. It's not waterproof where you can like drop it into a body of water and take it out and it'll be fine, but it can handle being in the rain and uh, dust and a lot of other stuff. So. It's a really great outdoorsy kind of camera because you don't need giant lenses like the other cameras do because it's micro four thirds. So even when you got a big zoom lens, 
still the same size as this, so it makes it really handy, and really light, and great for traveling. And last but not least is my microphone. Now this is the Panasonic microphone for DSLR cameras. And uh, I think there's only one Panasonic microphone, so it's uh, one size fits all. I wish I could have got a bit smaller because this kind of points out like a good 10 inches. So it's a pretty big microphone. But this windsock is really handy for windy days, like it really cuts down on the wind. You don't hear the sound, which makes it really annoying. And yeah, this is a really good investment. And you pretty much need good audio. If you want to make documentary films or pretty much anything professional, you need good audio. So that is it for all my camera gear that I brought to the Philippines. Everything you see here, I'm going to be putting in the description below with links and the name of the products. And if you saw anything that you actually like, just click on the link and it'll help the channel out. So if you guys got any questions or comments, make sure you put them down below. and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And until next time, peace out guys.